Hey everybody, this is Ardoom, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Um, you're going to notice that there's going to be a small change to my party roster. Uh, Nico, who's a pretty active commenter, has uh, come by and asked to be either a Vestal, a Flagellant, or a something else. I've forgotten now. I have to go back to the comments. I should have a look here. Uh, Vestal, Flagellant, or even an Occultist. Um, now, given the propensity for... Um, for flagellants to uh, survive and for vestals to die like flies in this playthrough, I think I'm going to give Nico the privilege of being my epic, epic, legendary flagellant with the curse. Can't have more than that. So, Nico, welcome to the party. And again, if you're a subscriber, uh, just let me know, let me know what you'd like to be in this playthrough. And I'm happy. I'm happy to rename someone, and I'll do my absolute best to to make sure you guys stay alive. Now, in this episode, we'll be going to the Weald and taking down the Brigand 12-pounder. Uh, again, it's a pretty good haul of treasure there by gold, by deeds, and by crests. Sculptor's tools? I'm not sure what stonework... That I'm not sure what that means, to be honest. Uh, I assume that there's going to be some stonework-based enemies in the courtyard at some stage that's going to come in very, very handy, um, or maybe in a ladder dungeon. Uh, sorry, in the Darkest Dungeon? Not really sure, but um, we'll figure it out. To this mission, uh, to this boss, ba boss bash, we'll be bringing along Gry, the Master Hellion, who's got the Lioness Warpaint and a double edged pendant, uh, Benel the Leper with Last Worn Testament and a Sun Cloak. We're uh, going to bring along Bohun, an Obelisk with a Martyr Seal and a Camouflage Cloak, and then also Pippery, a Master Hound Master with another Martyr Seal and a Sun Ring. Now, my rationale for this is that. The Hellion can attack any position and do minor self-healing. The Leper can only really strike the first two rows, but he strikes us really well, and he'll be his job is to take out the the cannon uh, when we get to the boss bash. Um, he also has self-healing. Um, Bohun can self-heal and heal others. She can also strike any position, um, and I'm not sure if yeah she can strike any position uh, selectively, which is just fine by me. And I might swap out suppressing fire for Mark just to take advantage of the synergies with Pippery, who again can attack any position as well as de-stress and self-heal. So everyone can heal. Um, don't have much de-stress, uh, but we should be okay with this layout, I think. I think, I think, I think. Uh, again, it's only medium map, so we'll provision up and get in there. Seems like I've been doing a lot of talking and, and not much fighting. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Bring along um, probably six blood in case we pick up more of the curse. Uh, again, if I already have to bring some blood, I may as well bring a bit, just in case we get more problems brought onto us. We'll bring along um, probably two medicinal herbs, two keys, two shovels, and that should be fine. I mean, I don't really need to bring more than that, because I typically find that I'm just throwing away perfectly good treasure, so worrying about unlocks is not, strictly speaking, necessary. We'll not forget food, obviously. That, that goes that saying. And, you know, holy water isn't like massively useful like in the in the wheel. I'll just have a quick check of the cheat sheet that Karamazov put together and in the Warrens. Like pile of bones. It's all it's good for. I could I could bring one. You know, that's kind of it. Functionally, let's you know, I guess embark and get in there. The wild whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion that even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Mm. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. Yeah, our um, our ancestor, he's a real um, he's a real asshole. <laughs> he does a lot of jerky, jerky things, and that's okay. And gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Okay, yeah, he's... Our ancestor is kind of an a-hole. He's kind of an a-hole. He does some pretty, pretty jerkish things. But regardless, let's get stuck into this dungeon. Uh, our path thing's to be pretty clear. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether we take up this room or not. I don't think we're going to bother, really. We'll just go straight there, because we're going to have more treasure than we know what to deal with. The key thing is to make sure we get our early scouts in if we can, and um, to make sure that we camp prudently and effectively, uh, these items, uh, they give you with poison, I think. Blight, 30. Uh, yeah, I think take a chance on the leper. Nothing of interest, no problem there. Uh, and let's press on. So it's been actually a couple of days since I've recorded one of these episodes. Oh, here we go, combat. 
right, no surprise, unfortunately, but we are in Radiant, fortunately, which should keep things happy. Sorry, before I get into combat, um, it's been a couple of days since I actually recorded an episode because I've been recording in advance and just scheduling things to go up on live on YouTube and been doing with, dealing with some live stuff, which is all fine, all exciting. Fingers crossed I have some things that go well for me. Um, but yeah, so it's actually been about two... Th it's been about two days since I've actually played some Darkest Dungeons, so I'm going to be a bit concerned that I'm going to be slightly rusty at this, but with that all said and that all done, let's get started. These gargoyles have like a nothing chance to bleed, so I may as well get these attacks started on the slathering pool. And the bleed takes nicely, Lash of the Tail goes down the Hellion again, critical for three damage. That's a little bit worrying, given my lack of... Ooh, and she's stressed too. Sorry, she's stunned too, damn. Alright, Ren goes down. Miss, thank goodness. Alright. And the turn is now ours. Um, I can look at dropping a mark on someone. I can look at just doing a sniper shot for some pretty good damage, to be honest. Blind fire doesn't give me a chance to kill anyone. Uh, a mark would be pretty handy, though. Uh, let's get started, though. Let's get a mark started. Let's just make sure that we're getting ourselves in the right place for all future rounds of damage. Uh, remote chance from insta kill on the gargoyle, and that isn't actually a bad call necessarily because we can't guarantee a kill on that ghoul. Ghoul does do a lot of stress, but these guys are predominantly a stun-based unit, so look, let's get started on that ghoul, actually. 14 damage, not too shabby. 21 hit points left, less than the two he will bleed, and now that he has a mark in place, we'll do some actual serious damage with the Houndmaster. Again, those bleeds are ramping up as well, which is quite nice. Slash the tail goes down for two, and he's stunned, unfortunately. Just take a sip of my delicious rum and coke here. Oh, a horror attack, and we are now in low light. Let's jump back to Radiant. Sniper shot does epic, epic damage. Let's get the kill now. Critical for 25. Beautiful stuff. That should reduce some stress, which we're going to need, what with all of the horror. Good dodge from the leper, and it is now the Hellion's turn just to start bashing people in the face. Beautiful critical hit there. Beautiful critical hit there. No complaints at all, and let's follow things up with a chop. Sweet, sweet hit. Nice! <laughs> and great treasure, too. Success so clearly in view. Well, aside from the stress that we've taken, uh, I have no complaints, really. No complaints at all. Now, stress might have to be a worry for us. Stress might have to be a worry, unfortunately, but, well, all the stress we're rocking is predominantly on the Houndmaster, and that can be pretty good because he's also like an excellent trap disarmer, and so we have kind of more than your average number of opportunities to de-stress the Houndmaster because he's, you know, good at traps. Um, so that isn't necessarily too much of a worry, um, but I, you know, reserve the right to be concerned. <laughs> I reserve the right to be concerned about anything that I like. Um, but with that said, let's see if we get anything scout-wise. Uh, ooh. Okay, what I'm going to do is a bit of a sneaky. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to unlock this. Yeah, disarm. Great. You've reduced your stress. Now backtrack. And because you haven't moved more than a square, we haven't taken a stress penalty, which means it's just a free de-stress, which is fine by me. Let's advance in. Oh, 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 didn't get there in time. Damn it. But you have no ill effects, which is fine. Whew. All right, I need to keep my inventory open. I have another, yeah, I have another thing coming up, so I'll, oh, that's a very early hunger check. Seriously? Oh no, I guess that's that's fair. That's fair, I guess. All right, let's uh, torch up. Let's use one of our medicinal herbs. Maybe find ourselves some free food. Yep. Oh, no Walker is there. And we have a battle on our hands, a giant and two Nashers. And we should be able to make some fairly light work out of these guys. Pretty good chance for an insta-kill to be entirely honest. So let's take out this position. Does that bleed take? Yes, okay, so he's dead in his first action. That's done. And I chose the right guy to do that too as well, which is fantastic news. Seven damage, that won't be an insta-kill, unfortunately. He'll get at least one hit on us. Yep, crit for six. Bit of a problem, but the stress only hit one person, and we have no bleeds, so we are just fine. Rather than looking at beginning to whack down that giant, I'll definitely take out that Nasher for next turn. It's a better spread of all the things, and I will drop a mark on this giant, because I have a strange feeling it's going to take me a lot of whacks to get this guy done. Awesome dodge! Literally, everyone just went, nope, nope, I can sidestep that. Um, but since we have this buff in place... Oh my god, critical for 41, that's beautiful. 
that is a beautiful, beautiful shot. Alright, let's get another 11 damage this time. So not as epic as a 42 point crit. 15 damage. Wow, this giant is not going to be long for this world. Um, I'm not complaining about that at all. Alright, Blight's taken, and that's just fine. Let's keep the smackdown happening. 15 damage, and we are looking fine. In fact, this, yeah, could be it. He's dead in his next action, which is fine by me. I'll invest the turn in faffing. As we know, faffing is a, a valuable strategy in making sure that you are in a better place for your next round of whatever it is you have to deal with. There we go, and this chap is dead. Beautiful. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Now it's a pristine fountain. Just trying to think. I'm trying to remember what pristine fountains do. I think they're a stress reducer. And, you know, I could definitely use some stress reduction down. Let's drop that on my Hellion. Nice. Okay. That's very clean. Uh, do a quick inventory check. And we're looking pretty fine. Uh, fine for food. Fine for torch. Got a battle right here. And it is a ghoul and a crone. All right, vulnerability curse goes down early, uh, and we might get marked. Yes, all right, so there'll be some synergies for uh, this unpleasant person's attack. Now, the question is, can I get an insta-kill? The answer is no. Would a speed buff be useful? The answer is yes, but the reality is this guy's going to be doing me a lot of pain and frust and suffering, so I'll probably focus on dropping a mark on him. May not use it in this turn. Oh, I should, though. I need to take out that crone, though. Let's stop. Oh, my God! Beautiful crit. I was expecting to have to take a few turns to take her down, but nope, things just worked out. Oh, that is an epic crit, though. Lots of stress, but at least there's been no stun there. Let's um, get some good old-fashioned country damage on this guy here. Alright, Intimidate's useless. I might look at respecking his abilities, but I don't really have anything leveled up appropriately. That could be an actual problem for me later on. That's fine. Let's drop a chop just because it's our best option, and it's a beautiful crit. No complaints there at all. Stress goes down, which is exactly what I want to be seeing. Um, this could kill him, or it could not. Um, whether it does or it doesn't, it does. Okay, that's, that's fine. I'm oversupplied for food, so getting those kills in early is just fine by me. Um, let's consider our options carefully. What debuffs do we have? That's debuff for one round, debuff for two rounds. That should be fine. Let's have some food. Yep, that's fine. Uh, what do you mean I can't take any more blood? I thought blood, blood stacked higher than that. Nope, okay, apparently blood goes up to 6. Could have sworn that blood went up to like 12. I guess maybe the thing's been debuffed or changed. That's okay, we'll keep dog treats for the boss bash. We are... yeah, no, that should be fine. That should be fine, I'm getting too worried about infantry management. Torch up, we have a supply crate. And room for some heirlooms if we find them. Yep. Could the flow of now the items that we want most of all really are gonna be um the nice. Um the items that we want the most are gonna be probably um portraits, because portraits lead to banking and banking leads to financial security. And I am one who is fond of being financially secure. Um uh, probably don't need more food, but there is a chance for some awesome loot, so we may as well use it. Uh, medicinal herbs aren't amazing for a huge deal in this dungeon, and again, we can just nibble to our heart's delight. But you're full, you're not. Alright, it's our infantry. All taken care of there. Keep ourselves in radiant as we walk these two blocks and engage a corridor battle. Yep. Enchantress, a gladiator, and a conscript. Unfortunately, the enchantress gets the attack in first. Two damage taken and a whole mess of stress. But even though we're marked, I'm not worried. I could try and deny these guys an action, or I could focus on the person that I'm most concerned about. I'm probably going to deny these guys an action, even though those conscripts will come in late. It just um limits their options, really. Great dodge, and we kind of we have the initiative now. Like everything is now. Like, we're under control. We're under control. Seven damage taken. No bleed, unfortunately. Oh, that's regrettable. Um, that's up a chop. Not quite enough for an insta-kill there, unfortunately. That's fine. It's going to have to be fine. Look, we could blind fire. Uh, sniper shot would... Just blind fire. Why not? Okay, one's dead. It's fine. We have elevated speed, so we should get in first with this uh, obelisk in the next round. 
Well, I was hoping. Maybe it was a full-on hope. Push goes back. Okie dokie. And uh, we can still get the leads down, fortunately. And this lady is, yeah, dead. Done, done, and done, ski. Alrighty, let's reset back to first positions. Quick check through the inventory again, and I need to maybe go online and check what the stack limits are for blood, because that just, if the stack limit is now six, that does change how I play um, quite a bit, to be honest. Um, that's fine. Uh, might also. No, it's not worth it. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, again, Leper on the Eerie Spiderweb. Best chance there. And slow reflexes, that's going to be a bit of a pain, but not particularly earth shattering, and we can cure that quite easily. We do have a treasure room battle coming up. Um, and we've got two grabbers and two batteries. Pretty standard mix for this dungeon. Uh, sniper shot's going to be a fairly logical call in the early rounds. Probably try and support the Iron Swan from our Hellion as and when that drops, so that's 9 damage made. That should be getting that chappy in a good way. Um, let's spread the damage out. Don't normally advise this, but let's spread the damage out onto the battery. Uh, position 3 battery, I should say. Um, to aid next round. Mark Prey will go down, which is unavoidable, but it's pretty minor. And that mark is something I can kind of live with. Um, so Iron Swan back here to deny them a turn. Get a crit for that one as well, which is sweet for stress. And Ren goes down and is dodged because his Hellion is just too fancy. Can't do a great deal with these grabbers beyond just wailing down on them the old-fashioned way, but that's just going to be how that's just going to have to be how it is. Finishing off this Funkle battery now. He's got enough bleed on him to die in his first action. That's just fine by me. Uh, going to keep using the whoa, good strike. Uh, I'm going to keep using the Hellion for damage, um, but I will heal her with the Arbalest, um, or at least I'll open up healing on her with the Arbalest because that means that she does better healing to herself when she self-heals. Oh, okay, we might need to actually faff a few rounds away just to um, boost up her, yeah, boost up that Hellion's health. 7 damage done regardless, just to get a bleed started here. We'll drop a self heal and that's 6 now rather than 4 or 5, which is just fine by me. And we'll keep stacking those heals on as well. Um, and we're looking much better. We should be fine to do another round of strikes on this chappy and we'll probably use the Houndmaster next. Oh, critical for 11! Damn! Well, at least there was no. Um... Alright, let's use a de stress here. Okay, that's that's a pretty good spread. Again, drop a self heal in place. That's up by seven because those uh, Arbalus tab heals have been really helping. Uh, we'll waste a turn with the leper, and we'll keep the heals going here. That's up by seven, and we now have like a hundred percent buff on heals received for a couple rounds. Grappling swing goes down, and it's only three damage this time around. But unfortunately, there's a blight there. That's really regrettable, to be honest. Um, and we get penalized for faffing, but that will happen. Uh, let's run a de-stress on the party. Yep, that's cancelled for that faffing penalty. Uh, we can cure that blight, fortunately, and it's a crit for 14 as well. So we are fully topped up and tanked up. And if we get a turn in edgewise, let's just take out this grabber. Great, so we're in a good place stress-wise. We're in a good place health-wise. Um, yeah, I am unconcerned. Can't use that food. Would like to use those medicinal herbs, but it's just not going to happen. So we're going to have to leave things be there. I might just do a bit of an inventory shuffle around, just because I like to prioritize all of my things. Might sound a bit nuts, but it makes me happy, and that's what this game is all about, right? Enjoying yourself. So let's keep on shuffling, shuffling. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Alright, leave that be. This chest is probably going to be a whole lot of useless for me. Uh, well, yep, it gave me a disease. That's fine. Oh, secret room! Oh, so cruel. Alright, well, that's going to change things a bit. I think I'm going to have to drop some blood. Um, probably going to have to... Well, I can't drop shovels because I need them, uh, unfortunately. 
will keep torching up and pressing on. Can probably drop a stack of food, to be honest. To be clear about that, I can definitely drop a, a stack of food. Um, not going to use a shovel. No, that's oh, fine. You just take the risk. It's fine. It's not healthy, but you will resist, I'm sure. Nope, you've got yourself the creeping cough, which is actually um, very, very, very Nature disappointing. Itself. Victim to the spreading corruption. Very disappointing indeed. With misintent. But we have a battle to get to in this coming room, and we need to take that on. Fortunately, it's just four Nashes, and while they aren't surprised, we should be able to make short work of them, even if we do take a few rounds of damage. Uh, no bleed taken there. This is a time we'll try on the Obelisk. Crit for six, which is going to be bad for stress. Yeah, very bad for stress. But we will endure. Good chance for an insta kill, and we'll take it. Nicely done. And um, let's have a look-see here. Our Rabbit Rush goes down again. Dodged. Okay, so we don't have to get smacked around every single time. We can hack it. Goes down. Not quite enough for the kill, so I have to follow that up with somebody else. And I think I'm going to do a sniper shot right now. Done. Oh, dodge. Okay, that will happen. Uh, but at least we can hope for an early insta-kill. Yep. They'll get one strike back, which is fine by me. Could spend some turns faffing here. We're only in turn two, and it does make sense for us to kind of invest in ourselves, particularly since the leper will be last, and he does a pretty healthy strike, provided he can land the hit. Ah, uh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, look at that gold. Okay, so... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I am going to, well, it makes clear financial sense for us to drop the emeralds, all the dog treats, all the blood, and I'm going to drop the blood. I'm also going to leave that treasure exactly where it is, just for the moment. Just for the moment. I'm going to, okay, so here's my thinking. This is a nice treasure. I could camp here and use up some food. And that isn't actually a bad call to make right now, regardless. And I'll just do that. And that's a good way of making things work and giving myself some more options. Yep. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. That's been nicely handled. We'll prevent ourselves from being surprised and give ourselves a chance for surprise. We'll also look at who has some nice things for stress. Yes, you'll be in position one for four battle. Mm, yeah, mm, um, let's take care of stress first. Um, Alright, well I guess that's all we can really do. All companions. Negative ten. Yeah, yeah, sure. Done. Easy. That makes sense. Clear and logical. And, um, yeah, let's just make you a little bit tankier there in position one. Okay, so we now have the promise of two free slots. I'm going to keep being sneaky. I'm going to remember the secret room is there, but I'm going to press on, and I'm going to... Yep. Free up an extra slot with that shovel. I will check these two curios, and then I will double back. All right, this one's empty. This one is a torch, which is just fine by me as well. The problem is I do need crests. <laughs> I do need crests, unfortunately, so I am tempted to keep that. Um, hey, that scouting's nice, but I'm going to be doing some sneaky doubling back, and oh, I need that shovel! Oh well. Oh well, we'll, um, we'll be needing that food, I guess. That's okay. That is just fine, um, and we can probably ditch the key, which is how many keys do we have left? We have two keys. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, that's easy. That's easy. Mm. Just leave the gold behind, really. No. Emerald. Just do some quick... Oh, quick double-checking, because I'm a little bit sleepy. It's kind of late at night where I am right now. Um, three, seven, five times four. Mm. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, definitely keep the jade from a financial standpoint. That's okay, those emeralds will have to suffice. I'll do some juggling here. Nice, 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 nice. I could just drop the dog treats. And I think I should be fine to drop the dog treats. Um, 
Yes, let's do that. Let us do that. Okay, that's us done there. We're going to press on back into this treasure room. We have one more key that we can use. Again, that frees up a slot in case there's anything amazingly uh, valuable. For a task well <laughs> that was kind of a waste of the key, to be honest. But we'll pick up whatever we can, and we may as well clear the debuff side of that ability. So there's now no penalty if she's in the wrong spot. We do, unfortunately, have a shovel that we need to pick up if the gods smile on us. Uh, to get through that obstacle um, and we don't have any battles that are coming up. We certainly do have a nice hole of treasure um, but I'm not sure if that's going to be quite enough to make things happen for us but we'll have to see how we go really. We'll have to see how we go. Um, Alright, you can take a chance on even more diseases. Alright, just the creeping cough which was bad enough as things were. Can't remove that trap, no problem there. And we are running quite low on torch. Ah, oh, you're craving. All right, that's fine. It's fine that you're craving. It is fine that you are craving. You can crave. You may crave. All right, no, no sign or sight of a shovel, unfortunately. So we are going to have to take the damage and the stress hit. Uh, but what can you do? Um, I was underprepared, and now I pay the price. You must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. All right, and let's see what's behind this door, because this could spell either gloom or doom. Nope, it's an empty, which means In we are fine may we find victory. to proceed on directly to the boss bash. We're in, oh, fine. Let's take a chance on the old tree. It's got poisonous sap, and there are no consequences, because... Oh, it's, it's a collector. Of course we'd have to face a collector immediately before we go in for a boss bash. That makes complete, <laughs> that makes complete sense. Of course we would. 21. Nice start. Okay. Uh, get a good chop in here. 17 damage, and that's just shiny. Uh, you will summon some people, but that's fine. I can work with that um, with an Iron Swan, and you've got 49 hit points left, which is just fine by me. I'll probably drop a mark here. Yep. That works out just fine, and now it's my turn to get wailed on by these chaps. Uh, that said, though, I get the first action with... Nice hit from the Houndmaster for 22, and those bleeds are just ramping up. That guard could be highly problematic for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Blind Fire. Just to get a self-buff there and get some damage early on. Head games go down. That's an insane crit for 18 and a bleed to boot. Oh... I can take out a Highwayman. Won't deny them a turn, but it will help me out. And provided that this chap doesn't... Yeah, okay. It, yeah, they are going to focus on my Houndmaster in a nasty way. This is going to be a real problem. This is going to be a real problem. Alright, let's... Chop that Highwayman down and... Uh, again, wait for that guard to expire. I'm going to... Great, try for the insta-kill there just to deny that guy a turn. Again, because he has a nasty habit of doing some back row damage, which I do not love. Yes, I can accept that the collector will get a heal, and oh my golly gosh. Let's 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 heal you up. Please. Please, please heal up. Um Got a feeling we'll be using as much of the actually you know, I should probably use be using my arch for this as well. Darn. Probably been playing this wrong to be honest getting a little bit worried. Okay, let's focus down on this Highwayman. Great, that's an insta-kill. Well deserved. Um, let's uh, keep wailing on that Vestal. No chance for an insta-kill there, but I can live with it. Um, let's get a healing bandage. I can't do that back position, though. That's why That's why I put the, yeah, the Houndmaster there. I remember that now. Right, blind fire, why not? Crit for 10, I'll take it, I guess. Um, oh, it's such an epic amount of damage on that Houndmaster. Because of that bleed. Um, that's fine, you can stress out these front guys. That's fine. That's fine. Has your guard not expired? 
damn you to hell. All right, um, oh, what to do? Let's wail down on the vessel, I guess. When we have no other options, we'll take out the man at arms. Okay, you're gonna keep guarding him, so we we've just got to damage you. We've got to kill you, the old-fashioned way. Chop goes down. Fortune show collection is gonna go back up instantly, and that's gonna be curtains for us. Uh, blind fire, just because, and it's only three damage because he has so many prots built up. And that bleed is gonna run out now. Collect call goes in, and he's gonna bring in a whole bunch of extra hiremen. This is really not how I wanted this to play out, unfortunately. Let's again focus down on that. Hyman, 18 damage. It's going to take more than one strike, unfortunately. Oh, no! Alright, let's at least take out that Hyman. Um, I... I... going to waste a turn by moving this, um... Arbalist back. Yeah, you're going to freak some people out. That's okay. I'm going to give you your blood. Yeah, I'm going to give you your blood. Yeah, chill. Chill out. I want you to heal up. And you're getting better. Even with this schmuck of a mana arms progressively and repeatedly guarding the freaking... fracking... frickery frickering... collector. That's fine. No no fresh hireman for me to worry about, which I can live with. Wicked Hat goes down. Not quite enough to kill, but it will come in soon. Chop goes down. That should be it. Yes, thank goodness. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to choose to invest these two guys on healing up my hireman because Pippery uh, does need to live. And with that healing buff, he should be going up by slightly more, which is good as well. Headstrong goes down. Uh, that's fine. You can have some extra health. You're only up to 37. You're going to probably show a collection, but in the meantime, I'll get a chance to get a decent strike in there to 20. And then this should be the kill. No! Dodge! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Dag! Damn it! Alright, but I hope I get an action in first. Yes. Okay, let's... Mm, take you out. Maybe. 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 No, not quite. Alright, Headstrong goes down. That's more health for him. Man, this collector battle is a lot harder than I um, expected it to be. I'm gonna be honest there, it's um it's been somewhat of a B hatch. Somewhat of a B hatch. Well, let's keep dropping Okay, you're gonna refuse that. That's 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 your prerogative, I guess. Let's drop a mark down there at least. And an iron swan. Down to nine hit points, that's regrettable, but at least this guy's guarding the highwayman. Headhunt once again on the uh, Houndmaster, but it's only 10 damage, and 10 damage I can live with. Let's, uh... Well... Miss. <laughs> Let's miss, I guess. That, that's always been an option, I guess. Uh, bit of heals. Come on. Come on, guy. Don't do this to me. I'm here for the cannon, not for you, Collector. You can run away. I'll, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Nope, you've just got to... Yeah, okay. Okay. Good dodge. Good dodge from the... Uh, from the... The leper. Um, Alright, even though this is only going to do damage to the... Um, actually, we have to focus on the Hyman. Good crit for 31. Sweet job there. Sweet job there. Uh... Let's heal you up, and as a one-two punch, that should top him up nicely. Let's start wailing down on the mana arms to get that guard removed. Unfortunately, I have no stuns, which is deeply regrettable. What I can do, though, is... No, I have to heal you. Have to heal you. Yep, yeah, okay, we're topped off now. After that insane double bleed attack strike from too many homemen... And this is taking forever. And his guard is still in place, but I have to again prioritize that Hyman because they are deadly, deadly dangerous. Deadly dangerous. Um, Alright, just. There we go. Point blank shot. Sorry, that blind fire. Blind fire, my mistake. And this guy just keeps gaining his health back. Uh, all we can do is again wail down on that mana arms and 
try and get an opportunity where he isn't uh, where he isn't guarding. I can drop a chain bleed, and that chain bleed will be effective. So that's going to be a fair course of action for me. Um, blind fire is also fine. I go crit for five. I'll take what I can get. Again, those bleeds are actually quite useful uh, with those guards in place. So let's keep that going. You've got four hit points left. You know, I might just be able to take you out right this very second, or at least certainly in your next action. Vestal's going to do the same thing she always does. Uh, which is regrettable, but there you go. Click call goes down, and it's going to be probably another Hyoman. Yes, it is. Okay, well, we'll have to keep focusing on him as an individual. Um, and... Yeah, another blind fire. Bush it lands on the, 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 the least ideal person. Hound's Harry, at least, should make a difference. Alright, and that's enough bleed to take him out, uh, unfortunately. I don't know if it's going to come out in the right order for me. Show collection goes down for some stress, but that's just fine. Thankfully, that freaking Mana Arms is dead. And for a change, the Vestal is healing somebody other than the... Good chance for a kill. Don't just get resummoned though, so... I mean, our other option is just to... Yeah, let's do that instead. That is a fair and good call. Headhunt goes down. 9 damage, but no bleed, and I'm comfortable with that. Let's just take out that Hyoman now, and that should be just tickety-boo. Um, sniper shot. Don't mind if I do. Not enough bleed on this chapter. Oh, it is. It is enough bleed on this chapter to take him down, which means, uh, provided that Leper doesn't heal him, we are fine. So let's just make sure that he can't be healed. And I think that's round. Let's just top up everyone that we can, because we have the chance to, and we may as well. My god, four puzzling trapezohedrons. We're literally, like, just at the doorway of the boss bash. We've taken so much stress and so much damage. We have to go back and forth for so many rounds. Uh, that is literally the very model of hubris causing me nothing but rampant aggravation. Well, them's the them's the breaks sometimes. Let's uh, feed you if you can, and oh, that's one health left. Um, okay. Having taken away... <laughs> having burned away the Ablative Collector, it's now time for us to kill the Brigand 12-pounder. Let's get in and see what we have to see. A marvel of technology. An engine of destruction. Okay, so obviously it's the Fuseman we have to make sure gets killed every round. Uh, so let's start focusing on him with the beautiful critical hits from the Arbalist. Great work, chaps. Great work. Um, it's a pretty weak thing to do 3 to 5 damage um, with the Hellmaster. I could try and deny the Fusilier his life. That could actually stick, so let's give that a shot. 15 damage. It's only going to be 2 or 3 bleed. Ah, okay, so dead in his first action, which is fine by me. This is how a life is taken. And we'll just take the punishment from the Cutthroat, because we need to start doing some damage to the cannon. Unfortunately, the cannon seems to be dodgy in strange, unique ways. But he does take 5 damage, which is a decent strike for the first round. Slice and Dice goes down, and it's a double dodge, which I am going to be quietly cheering about because there is someone who's asleep in the next room. I do not want to be a horrible person. Um, just a Fuseman who has respawned, which is fine by me. You can probably get a relatively easy kill. Yep, with the Houndmaster. That's just tickety-boo. Let's work down some wicked hacks. Beautiful crit for 10. And um, things seem to be looking up compared to how they've been for the last few rounds. Um, could try and drop a mark. Could try and drop a mark. That would be a bad call chance for debuff is non-existent, but Mark is useful. Um, and let's get these chops going. Again, my Leper cannot hit the side of a barn. 11 damage taken from the on the um, Hellion. And reinforcements back in play. This could be a problem because we don't have any targeted healers, but let's just do what we always have to do and take out that Fuseman. Done. And just by one hit point this time, not by a comfortable margin at all. Blanket Fire does go down though in time, but it is dodged by all and sundry. Shank goes down with the Leper, and 6 damage taken. 
not too concerned, to be entirely frank, because I have Wicked Hacks to drop, 4 damage taken, and that is none too shabby at all. That mark is in place as well, which means I'm less concerned. What I will probably do is drop a heal with the Arbalest. I mean, I could do a sniper shot. Extra damage against Marked. Let's do it. 12! I'm so glad I got that. I'm so glad I took that shot. Okay, and um, I don't really love my odds, but I'll try for what's, what's wrong with you here. Creeping Cough. I'm sure I've picked up some kind of horrible quirk that it's not being displayed. Let's try a chop again. Six damage, alright. Finally a hit lands with a leper. And this chappy is on just about half-life. That Fuseman's now in the back ranks, so that shouldn't stop me from taking him out with the Houndmaster, I hope. Beautiful 26 as well. It's a great amount of stress that's gone. Blanket fire. And we all take just a smidgen of damage. Um, now, I've got a pretty good spread of damage with the Arbalest, so I'm just going to keep taking it. I mean, I've just got to work down this cannon. One way or the other, it's going to have to happen, so let's get things started. Um, good hit before, uh, and I'm getting a little bit worried about the Hellion, but since the Hellion um, just needs to live, um, I think I'm going to be able to hold off on healing for just a smidge if I can. Reinforcements. Right, the call goes down. I'm not sure if my Arbalest is going to be useless. Um, whether, but I do have the, the buffer of that Houndmaster dropping hits with good damage every single turn. Um, Alright, another hit with Blanket Fire, and Hellion's looking a little bit weak, but we can still get some decent hits in. Cannon's down to 19 hit points, so we're making some really good progress. Double dodge on the front two positions as well. Um, and that mark has expired, so I will step back with the Arbalest and strike with Leper. Again, that disease he picked up, that creeping cough, is really regrettable. Um, I was relying on him to do the majority of my damage, and it just isn't to be with that negative 20%. Uh, Houndmaster looks to be wanting to pull some tricky dicky stuff. Meantime, that. Okay, so is dead in his first action, which is fine, but it was a pretty close thing. Everyone is debuffed on dodge pretty massively, which is hugely regrettable. Um, but we will. We will keep relying on our hit points, hit points to soak up the damage rather than dropping in heals. Um, again, let's keep those strikes coming. Six damage taken, only nine HP left. Slice and dice goes down, and it's a dodge where it counts and minor damage where it doesn't, which is fine by me. Just keep whacking on this cannon. Nice. Okay, that fuse master is dead, and will be respawned instantaneously, of course. Um, but that doesn't mean that. He can't be killed again immediately. We're just trying to keep this under control. Blanket fire again, pretty minor damage. I'm getting worried by it. Yep. Okay, that's fine. And this no. Oh, it's it. Okay, fantastic. So now, now we can worry about that thing. Shank goes down, and that leper is still fine. It's really only the Hellion I'm particularly worried about, and I think that Fuselier is done for. And uh. This cutthroat doesn't have a long left to live. Again, inventory is fine. We've got one guy to kill. We can just rush through this. We don't need to faff. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Uh... Yep, that's worth more than that. That isn't. And that is us done. This has been a pretty good haul, to be honest. Let's uh wait for the pachinko totals to come out for us. We can see how well we've done. Okie dokie. So just shy of 30k in gold. We have picked up a blueprint as well. We've also got ourselves uh, 11 crests and 17 deeds, which should get us to where we need to be for the next and final, I should say, blacksmith upgrade. All these guys have popped to five as well. Gry has picked up a night blindness, which is going to be uh, acceptable given that playstyle. Benel has bad humors. Um, and Pippery is a pack tracker. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's why he got he got two different diseases. It's like a hidden upgrade that he got that kept debuffing his damage. 
Okay, so a couple of things happened back in town. Rabies is cleared, Ruin's phobe is gone, as is Cove's phobe. Castellon is thirsting. Nico has controlled his urges for the moment. Um, and we have some upgrades to make on a few party members. Again, Bonell is our clearest candidate for some armor and weapons upgrades. Before we do that, we will make sure that we unlock the cost reduction. The end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. And everything in the blacksmith is now unlocked. Um, and the same applies as well for the guild hall. As you can see here, all unlocked. I pretty much haven't touched either the abbey or the tavern. And the next focus for us to start building some things up for is the patient cells and sanitarium. I could reduce the costs right now, but I'm not going to because I would rather have more cells than less. Um, yeah, because money is becoming less and less of a problem aside from like locked in upgrades, having to quickly like maxi level up people. In the meantime, the stagecoach coach has nothing that's particularly compelling for us unless it Danvers has some really, really awful works no it's pretty pretty even in the grand scheme of things so we'll keep focusing on our upper level guys in terms of our next mission we've got some options um but we do want to be unlocking and taking out the next cove boss so i am inclined to do a short champion crawl i'm inclined to but i could also equally be compelled to look at something in the warrens or the ruins if the prize was right and uh that ancestor's pistol looks quite pretty um, as is that Coven Signet, uh, negative 25% stress if you have the Crimson Curse is relatively compelling, but actually it might actually come down increasingly to the caliber, quality, and quantity of the heirlooms that we need, because again, deeds are now very much out of fashion for us. It's fine by me. I'll make all the decisions and more in the next episode, um, but I should probably sign off right now. So once again, thank you guys for watching all the way through. If you have, my name's Ardoom. If you're new, welcome. Hit that sub button, like this video, drop me a comment if you like, um, and catch up on the playlist. Um, and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys for dropping by again. Um, and if you aren't Nico or Dessers, please let me know if you want to have a character named after you and what kind of class you want them to be. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys next time, and thanks again.